What do you get want here? here? Go. Yeah, See, get that out. That wasn't so hard. Hey. Hey, what's up? We, uh, as long as the paladins don't have any new assignments for me, I, I can have myself a couple of beers here. <laughs> what more could you ask? You're working for the paladins? Yeah, I, I report to them on the situation in the city. At the moment, everything is quiet. How are things with the orcs? No reason to worry. We in the city guard and the paladins have everything under control. Go home and let us do our work. We're watching over the town and its citizens. Oh. Would you like another beer? <sighs> mm, there's nothing better than a cool ale. You were about to say something about the orcs. Oh yeah, yeah, right. The orcs are absolutely no threat to the city. Mm, they're stuck in the uh, Valley of Mines, and, and the pass is, is held by the paladins. <laughs> Not even a meat bug could get through there. <laughs> Would you like another beer? Well, I won't say no to a decent pint. They've even spotted an orc outside of town. Yeah, right. The dangerous orc outside the city. A real monster of an orc. Well, he's bound to attack the city soon. Listen, we'll kick that fat orc in his fat ass if he comes too close to the city. <sighs> Got it? I see. Would you like another beer? <laughs> A tasty bitter ale is absolutely the best. You know, you don't often meet someone who'll treat you to a beer. <clears throat> You're all right. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. Hey, come closer. By the explicit Take order of the Honorable Lord of cool Hagen, beer. the Lord following Andre decree is, is for hereby a few enacted. From this moment onward, Lord Andre will take the supreme command of our militia. So, where is your friend Trokar now? All the citizens now? of this city who well, have martial skills it's a curious at story. are here with Only a few days to join ago, the royal militia. We were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swap weed reefers. He never came back. Didn't you go looking for him? No, but I reported it to the militia. But they haven't been able to find him yet. I hope he didn't get attacked by a wolf, or worse. I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> Where does one get swamp weed reefers? Somewhere down at the harbor, as far as I know. Okay? Yes, but I'm not going out of the city anymore. At least not anytime soon. My knees are still shaking from the scare that orc gave us. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now, except for the rich people from the upper quarter. What's wrong with them? <laughs> Some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. Yeah, I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. 
You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round, serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it, but they couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. they prefer to get plastered on free beer. And the creature was washed from the face of the earth. What is it with this Valentino? Yeah, he's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end, and then early in the morning he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this fella that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Ah, I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits, or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. Show me your wares. And so he set himself between his brothers in order to reconcile their dispute, and he did not succeed. And there, nothing surprises me anymore. I've heard a thing or two. Have you had an apprentice before? Yes, and not too long ago. And what happened? His name is Elvridge. He's my nephew. I was quite pleased with him, actually. But one day, he simply didn't show up for work. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. <laughs> How long has it been since you saw him? I guess it must be about two weeks. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinus without a decent job. Is that so? I've got a new tobacco blend. Let me try your tobacco. This tastes incredible. I've never had a better smoke in my life. How did you prepare this blend? I mixed the tobacco with honey. 
You have done well, father of the art of blending. I would be delighted to fill my miserable pipes with this. Fill her up, then. Thank you, son of generosity. No other blend could be as good as this one. I shall buy every bit you can bring me of this. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Due to the general situation, the forest and wilderness near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Furthermore, any contact with the rebellion... About those missing people. Just leave me alone with that. I've got other problems. I've got some information about the orcs. Let's hear it. They're stuck in the Valley of Mines, and it looks like they're going to stay there. To be on the safe side, the Paladins are guarding the pass. Good. If you find out more, let me know. As to that orc outside of town? Yes? Don't worry about him. The city guard is going to take care of him. Good. If you find out more, let me know. Is it true that some townspeople have simply vanished? So I've heard, but I'm not sure whether it's really true. Just look around you. Does this rat hole look like the place where you want to spend your golden years? <laughs> Small wonder that people are getting themselves out of here. I'm no better off my Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then. You should have known them. That's really not my problem. Have you ever used a teleporter stone? No, but I've heard of them. The water mages aren't too sure about those things yet. I've given it a try. <laughs> of course you have. You're not afraid of anything, are you? Well, if you want to use the things, go ask Orlin, the tavern owner, whether he'll let you into his boarded up cave. I think he has hidden one of the teleporter stones for the water mages near his tavern. Walk out of the eastern city gate and simply follow the path. You can't miss it. You have to feel sorry for the poor thing. That's all just gossip. You have to feel sorry for the poor thing. About those missing people. I'm not telling you anything new. That's Isn't this a case for the militia? The militia is pretty useless if you ask me. They're never going to clear this up. The missing people have just vanished into thin air. Tell me what you know. The first was William, one of the fishermen here in Corinus. One day, he simply didn't return. At first, we thought that one of those sea monsters out there had eaten him in his boat for breakfast. But not too long afterwards, other people started disappearing from the town and the surroundings. Pretty random events, though. Everyone's at a loss so far. The way it looks, we'll just have to wait until we finally stumble across a clue. Nothing's ever going to change that. Nothing's ever going to change that. I'm no better off myself. There's a better secret. Hey, you! Where you going? No matter what your plans are, there'll be plenty of time later. You're right in front of the Pearl of Corinus, the Red Lantern. 
This is the most beautiful brothel in all of Mirtana, damn it. Sailors from the most remote corners of the world dock here just to spend a few nights in the Red Lantern. And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor of spending a night with Nadja, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. What are you standing around for out here? Go on in and meet our passionate Nadja. This hot creature of the night will give your life a new meaning. That's what I've always said. Hey, I can't take care of you now, baby. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. I just want to ask you a few questions about those missing people. I could tell you a thing or two, but not here, honey. Then let's go upstairs. Fine, but you get it settled with Bromar first. I don't want any trouble. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. Are you the one who runs this place? I am Bromo, this is my house, and these are my girls. I like my girls. And if you like my girls too, then you'll pay for it, 50 gold pieces. And don't get the idea of making trouble here. Are all your girls accounted for? Of course they are. Or do you think I want to go to jail over something like that? Uh, I wasn't asking about your payroll. I mean, are they all present, or have any gone missing? Oh yeah. Actually, one of my girls has up and left. Her name's Lucia. I reported it to the militia too, but they claim they haven't found a trace of her yet. How long has Lucia been missing? Several days. I don't know exactly how long. I assume she ran off with one of her suitors, eh? That bitch made off with part of my savings, a really valuable golden dish, eh? If I get out of her, I'll give her what for. So how is that any business of yours, eh? Do you want to have fun or not? I want to have some fun. Fine. <laughs> You're not likely to forget the next few hours of your life anytime soon. Go upstairs with Nadja then. Have fun. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. Tell me that isn't true. He works all day, too. I won't tell her a thing from now on. And he works all day, too. Nobody wants to know. Everybody knows by now. And he works all day, too. I couldn't care less. That's terrible. That's an open secret. That's not what my husband thinks. That will never change. I won't tell her a thing from now on. I could tell you. So can we talk now? We've got enough privacy up here. Bromar doesn't like to see us talk to guests during work if there's nothing in it for him. So you want to know more about the people who disappeared down here at the harbor, do you? I don't know whether I can help you much, but at least I can tell you what became of Lucia. Tell me about Lucia. Nobody here is too sorry that she's gone. Why? I don't think there was anyone here whom she didn't try to use. She was a real bitch. Where did she disappear to? She used to see a lot of Eldritch, the apprentice of Thorben, the carpenter from the lower part of town. I bet she's up and left with that young man. But that's terrible. Where could the two of them have gone? If the wolves didn't need them, I suppose they went to stay with the farmers. Where else would they go? I've got no time. What else do you know? I've heard many stories about people who disappeared down here at the harbor. But I'm not so sure whether I should believe them. 
You should have a chat with the merchants down here. That's all I can tell you, alas. Now, what about the two of us, sweetie? You paid for it, after all. Wouldn't you like to have a little fun before you leave? It was his decision, wasn't it? And there's more, believe me. Someone's got to do the work. No one really wants to hear that. That's works all day, too. Really, how interesting. What are you cooking there? Oh, fish soup. It's not all that tasty, but at least it's hot. You can try a plateful, if you like. Could you cook me some soup? I cook for everybody. For you too, if you want. All you need to do is Bring me a fish. What can you tell me about the city? Most citizens in this town are afraid of thieves. Therefore, it's not a good idea to enter strange houses. But if you're looking for a place to stay overnight, you're welcome to sleep in my hut. There is an extra Aren't you afraid bed of thieves? that you can have. The only valuable thing that I ever owned has already been taken. Oh, someone stole my statue of Inos. Hey! Hey, do you need fish? Get your fish here, fresh from the depths of the sea. Can you tell me something about those missing people? Missing people? This is a harbor, pal. Things like that are bound to happen. The sea is treacherous and bound to claim a life now and then. Captains of large vessels will always sign on new sailors in a large seaport such as Corinis to complete their crews. And if they don't find any volunteers, some people may get dragged off against their will, and then they're gone. That's been known a long time. Do you know of anyone who's gone missing? No idea. Ask the shipbuilders. What ship would that have been? Good question. Not many ships have come into Corinus lately. That is true. Are you missing someone? Me? No. I will never change. Nobody will learn anything from me. You had to have them sooner or later. Do you really believe you know how wicked they are? That's no idea. Idea. You tell me. Hey, you! You're a fisherman? Now how did you ever guess that? Can't you simply leave me alone? Don't take it personally, but I haven't been too happy lately. It's that militia. 
trouble with the militia. Those bastards keep coming here and taking whatever they want. Last week, they made off with my entire catch. It's for a good cause, they said. I know that everybody's got to fend for himself since the farmers have stopped trading. And of course, sometimes people just go hungry. Small wonder that they're snatching the fish from right under my nose. But if they keep doing this, I won't even have enough to feed myself. Have you talked to the paladins about this? <laughs> Are you joking? Do you really think they'd be interested if a poor devil like me has his problems with the militia? Maybe I can help you. I don't know. I suppose you'd have to know somebody from the militia who has connections to the paladins. The paladins will hardly buy the fish from me. I shall see what I can do. Can you tell me something about the missing people? My friend William started hanging out with a bunch of shady characters. And where did it get him? One day, he simply didn't show up for work. And that's the last we saw of him. Your buddy William has disappeared? So he has. He's a fisherman, but a little too big for his boots, I should add. He should have stayed well away from that bunch. When did you last see him? Only a few days ago. Maybe he just went out to sea to fish. That's not very likely. His boat is still moored in the harbor. What's he been up to? William had some shady dealings with those crooks. I think it was all about contraband that he sold to the bastards. What bastards would those be? I don't know who they are or what their business is here in Corinus. I only know the place where they met up with William. I just happened to see William there when I was fishing in the bay. Where exactly is that meeting place? There's a bay opposite the harbor, north of here. You can only reach it by boat or swim. There's a beach there and a small fishing camp. That's where I saw them. I think I've heard enough. Spare yourself the effort. I don't believe you'll find him.
There you are at last. I've been waiting here for hours. Just a moment. You're not a merchant from town, are you? Where is Baltram? Who are you? I don't see how that's any of your business. But if you must know, my name is Skip. Does that ring a bell? Who? Are you telling me you've never heard of Skip? Holy shit! Where do you live? I'm one of Corinus's most wanted criminals. Me and my boys have been the scourge of the waters around this crummy island for years. Come on, you must have heard of me. You're a pirate. Yes, damn it. That's plain to see. And a cross one at that. I'm so bored, I could chew up the planks of my cog. Where do you come from? You want to know where our hideout is? If I tell you that, I might as well invite the militia to arrest me. And, in case you would like to pay us a visit, it wouldn't help you in the least. The island of Corinus is large, and no one ever gets to where we are anyway. Unless they have a cog or some other ship. And then you'd have to find your way through the cliffs as well. Nobody gets through there, unless they know the secret path. There are only two people who know the path, and you're not one of them. A lot of citizens are missing, and everything seems to indicate that you're not quite innocent in the matter. Uh, damn it. It's not what you think it is. Do I look like a slave trader to you? No, I only transport goods. What they are, and where they come from, is no concern of mine. We have shipped all kinds of things for those swine. First, it was just regular stuff. Well, sometimes it may have been contraband. But then they started to kidnap the inhabitants of the city. No idea what they're planning to do with them. All we did was ferry them across. Who are you talking about? The bandits, of course. Who else? The filthy scum, who are making themselves at home all over the island. And not just here, around Corinus. Where did you take those people? I already told you. I'm not going to tell you where our bay is. Just bandits isn't good enough for me. I want a name. A name? You want to know who's leading the bandits? Damn it! What was that bastard's name again? Hmm... I just can't recall his name. Even if it wasn't all that complicated. But I can show you where to find the boss of the gang in this part of Corinus. Have you got a decent map? I've got a map right here. But someone scribbled all over it already. So where's the fun in messing it up for you? Then I guess I'll have to give you a description. There's a very big farm far to the east. The farmer's name is Onar, I think. He's got some fairly large fields. To the south of those fields, there's a small fortress on a high cliff. That's where you'll find your man. I remember his name now. Dexter. Yes, I think they called him Dexter. Valtram, you're waiting for a merchant? Smart kid, aren't you? That's what I just said, isn't it? Uh, that good-for-nothing junk merchant seems to have forgotten me. If only I could get my hands on him.
about those missing people. That's not what I heard. No I can't take you care of change. Who says things like that? I agree with Show you. me your Thank maps. You. He should have known better. No, he insisted he knew better. That's totally obvious. I'm not telling you anything new. I'd have gone about it differently. There have been all kinds of rumors. Anything's possible. Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then. I've got your sword. Ah, that's much better than fighting with an old stick. Can you train me? As long as you have the necessary experience, sure. Train me as a sword fighter. Inhabitants of Corinus, by the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. From this moment onward, Lord Andre will take the supreme command of our militia. These are bad times. He simply talks. You're doing business with pirates? What? Who told you that? I talked to one of them. He seems to be waiting for you in his bay. What can you do? These are hard times. Everybody has to look after his own. These are bad times. Weren't you afraid of getting caught? That could happen. It you found out too, didn't you? But you'll keep your mouth shut, right? Now that's typical, isn't it? That's not what my husband thinks. What do you know about the pirates? Don't they live in a remote part of the island of Corinus. It can only be reached with a cog or some other ship, as far as I know. The citizens of Corinus fear them, quite rightly so, for they're nothing but a bunch of nasty cutthroats. Still, if you ask me, they're nowhere near as bad as the bandits. everything for everybody. Everybody knows by now. What is it you're trading? I mostly supply them with food. And for that, they give me the finest rum that's to be had in Corinus. I could take care of this deal for you. That would be great. I cannot leave Corinus at the moment. Don't Here, take this package and tell Skip not to be so stingy with the rum this time. It should be at least three bottles. Don't tell this to anyone. That was all I wanted to know. Simply talks too much. Really, how interesting. Inhabitants of Corinus, by the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree the security measures enacted. for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. The guards on the gates are ordered to interpret the law in the strictest sense in order to prevent unauthorized...
Here, I've got a map of Corinus. That's good. Let me draw in the hideout of this fellow. I remember his name now. Dexter. Yes, I think they called him Dexter. Here's your map. I've got a package for you from Baltram. What? He's sending me an errand boy? Scared shitless, is he? Oh well. What can you expect from such a puny penny pincher? He says he wants three bottles of your rum in return. Ha <laughs> ha, wouldn't he like that? First he makes me wait forever, doesn't even show up in person. Then he has the nerve to make demands. Here, give him two bottles. That's enough for him. I got the rum from Skip, but he gave me no more than two bottles. Damn expensive, that. Who does he think he is? Well, give it here, then. I can't give you much for it now. This here's gotta be enough. These are 